Hamilton now comes in at tight end. One wide out. They're going to run Weissman to the left side. Gets the corner turn. Look out. 40, 45 midfield. Still going. Iowa State territory at the 47. Period. On a play fake. Rudock going to roll out right. Looking, surveying the field. Throws downfield. It is caught at the two-yard line. The Hawkeyes are going to have first and goal. Here's Rudock rolling left. That's the same play. Rolls left. Throws into the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Touchdown, Iowa. Touchdown, Cavante Martin Manley. And Richardson on a fake to White. Steps back. Now steps up in the pocket. Now tries to run away from uh, pressure and doesn't go anywhere. Darian Cooper ran him down from the backside. Gets the sack. James White in the backfield with him. And Sam retreats. Here comes good pressure by the Hawkeyes. He's bear hugged as he throws the ball away. Picked off by Morris. He's at the 40. He's at the 35-yard line. It's a foot race. 30, 25-yard line. James Morris took the ball away from the slot receiver. And the Hawkeyes have a chance for another score. Kreider snap. The ball is down. Compliments of Cornbrath. And Mike Meyer has another one. 13-0 at halftime. Iowa in front. The Rudock. Iowa picks it up. Somebody's got to be open. It's Martin Manley. First down at the Iowa State 30. So the Hawkeyes need to convert again on third. Three receivers. Blitz coming. Jake gets rid of it. And it is caught. And going for a touchdown is Jake Hillier. Touchdown, Iowa. Iowa State whiffed on the tackle just like the Hawkeyes did last series. And Jacob Hilliard has his first career touchdown. I brought a blitz to the weak side. Uh, had to sit in there a little bit before they, they came and hit me. Um, he ran a great route. Offensive line did a great job slowing down as much as they possibly could. Uh, they picked their guys up great and just it was one of those where he's been he's been doing really well at practice. He's been doing really well in the games and just gave him a shot. And I didn't see the rest, but I assume they had a hell of a guy. Out of away from the tailback, tries to option out to his left and another stay-at-home safe play and an outstanding play by defensive end Dominic Alves. The score reverts back to 20 to 7. Double tights. And Rudock on a quarterback sneak. Now, he appears to be over. No signal. Touchdown, <laughs> Iowa, <laughs> for the second time in the same series. No, he's got to be looking his way. And he is blitz coming. He gets rid of the football, and it is incomplete. No, picked off. Intercepted by B.J. Lowry. The ball was a little bit underthrown. He was looking for Jarvis West. And B.J. undercut the route and picked it off. The yeah. Hawks have the yeah, ball right back. Made. And the final score. Iowa 27, the Cyclones of Iowa State 21, and the Iowa players race across to the other sideline while Kirk Ferentz and Paul Rhodes exchange handshakes. Final score 27 21, Cyhawk is coming back to Iowa City. Yeah, it's good to get a win in the fourth quarter. Um, uh, I thought we could have put them away earlier, but uh, give them credit for that. And yeah, but uh, you just got to move, move on from this. We did some good things, did some bad things. It's a stepping stone, but we're not really where we need to be yet. But yeah, it's definitely to get a good win on the road. I know we were wearing them down up front, um, and I think uh, just the last two touchdowns, uh, the two touchdown drives we had, really uh, showed that um, you know the kind of the football, the offensive line that we wanted to want to be. Um, here in Iowa, and that's just tough physical, run the ball, and uh, ground and pound. Just means a lot for us. It means a lot this week, you know. We want to prepare to win every week, and then I think it's going to mean a lot when we look back on this season and say, man, that was a big win for us. Everything that you work for in the summertime, everything you work for in uh, camp, you know, that symbolizes hard work, you know, the, um, bringing it back um, to Kinnick. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a special feeling, man. Right now, we just want to um, enjoy this win and then just uh, fix things that we need to fix that we messed up in this game and just uh, move forward. It's great. We always want to get a win, uh, regardless if we're at home or away. And uh, Coach France always stresses the importance of the road wins. And uh, you, just, you just feel really blessed to have the opportunity. And I mean, their fans were crazy. Their fans were really good for them. And we just had to keep our composure and keep going.